this is our dual sub pump here. And you guys, you can see the water comes in pretty, in a pretty scary speed. Uh, it's been about at least one day with the speed, and I think the both pumps working really, really hard to get the water out. And however, the underground level, probably the level of the water table is really high. And I'm not sure where those two pipes come from. Uh, it's, it's very hard to see. I can see there is one pipe, but I, I kind of feel it's not that one. Um, it must be from somewhere under the ground here. Um, the, the ground here is moist, has moisture, but it's not, it's not wet. But as I can go further, that place, you can see this water here. And it's actually, when I, when I go to that far, it's all buried in water, even though it's under this plastic. Um, plastic material. Yesterday there was a really heavy rain and it's getting crazy. Um, although I don't know whether this too comes from that rain, it's probably that as well. Um, but the heavy rain has um, give us a big flooding area in the backyard. This two pumps have two that's working at the same time. If we tried this afternoon that even when it, when it was not rainy, if we unplug one of the pumps, the water will fill up pretty quickly. And one of the, if we only have one pump, it, it's not enough to get the water out. And we have to have both. Uh, now I think these two are working non-stop. Uh, not sure. Even even this cable is a little warm. Not sure if that's what it is. But we tried this afternoon that when there is an alarm as well. This one, the yellow one. If it hits that level, the alarm will ring. And we, when we unplug one of the pumps this afternoon, it's probably taking 10 to 15 seconds for the two pipes to fill the bucket and trigger the alarm. So it's pretty crazy. So we were discussing whether there's any way that we could We could deal with this with this heavy rain season. Uh, rainy season. It's not really possible to reduce the rain, the amount of rain here. Um, with the, we also have a big flooding area in the back. Uh, also flooded from the neighbors as well. So seems the only way we could do is just to if it, this bucket fills up, um, either because a power outage. Well, for power outage, we have a generator, so hopefully that won't happen. But if one of the pumps, like say overwhelmed and gets broken um, and not working, this will fill up really quickly and. I don't know whether there's any other way to just let the the water fill the bucket and flood the crawl space because this bucket is really big. We don't know how to manually pump things out. Um, all the cab almost all the cables here are stripped to the upper deck and well there are some 
under there. I just pulled some cables out on the onto the concrete. Uh, hopefully, we won't get an electric shock. But I think normally these cables are waterproof. Better to check again. And we'll let it fill up. And not sure if there is any other way to just let it flood and deal with it after this rainy season. It's pretty intense. Hopefully this won't happen next year, but uh, we, we don't really know. So I think um, uh, all what we can do now is to... Don't think we can do much about this one. Um, it's very hard to... So if you think about how to control this or fix this, it's probably either control the water source uh, or a different ways to reduce it. Um, redirect the water or you kind of have to do the uh, to find a solution to address when it's actually flooded so the things I can think of is if you control the water source not really sure if there's anything we can do um, because the underground water table level is just too high, otherwise we won't have this. Um, how to redirect water, this is pretty low in the ground, and only with this pump we could get the water up, otherwise it's really hard to, it's, I can't think of any way to get these water, these two water pipes to redirect to some other places. If you know any other good ideas, that would be great. Let, let us know. Um, other ways just to let it pump this way, but I kind of am really concerned about overwhelming this two pump. We could, if we buy backup pumps, and if it keeps raining, this will keep happen, kept happening. And is it going to, is the solution going to be that will keep changing the pumps? If, the, if they get overwhelmed or broken, I don't know. So the last resort is to make sure all the cables are stapled to the to the upper deck so that when this place gets flooded we still we kind of at least we can make sure the cables are not touching the ground and then have to fix deal with this and let it dry or have some plumber come in to help us pump the waters out using their machines and then so that we can let it dry gradually like in the summertime. So that's the kind of the concerning sad facts. I hate where when there's nothing we can do to fix the problem, but at least there's some less resort solution that we could do to prevent further damage. 